you dropped 150 grand on an education you could have had for dollar and fifteen late charges at the public library. Matt Damon says this in the movie Goodwill Hunting. Today, thanks to MOOCs and other open educational resources, you don't even have to step out to the library or pay any late fee. What you need is to become inspired to self-direct your learning. Question is, how do you get inspired? One way to inspire yourself is to set a goal. A goal you cherish, a goal you will enjoy pursuing and preferably a goal that is larger than your self-interest. Remember the drivers of intrinsic motivation? Autonomy, mastery and purpose? A goal that goes beyond your self-interest gives you a sense of purpose in life. In pursuit of such a goal, you get supremely motivated to become better and better at skills and competencies needed to achieve the goal and you feel inspired to self-direct your learning. Biggest obstacles on the path towards your goal will most likely be those that you create yourself like fear of failure, fear of ridicule, fear of rejection, thoughts of incapability and powerlessness and negative thoughts like you don't deserve the outcome of the goal you have set. Thoughts proceed, emotions follow. Once you start thinking in a certain way, say about failure or ridicule, your emotion of fear will grip you and you will lose the energy to pursue the goal you have set. You can overcome these mental obstacles only through self-awareness. Consider the techniques we learned when we were discussing the essential dispositions of a self-directed learner. We said, to develop self-control and ability to delay gratification, you need to be able to distract yourself from the temptation or mentally transform your temptation. In attention management, we said that self-reference effect, ability to connect what you are learning to your context, helps you maintain your focus. In self-efficacy, we said, interpret your thoughts and emotions carefully. If you don't do well in exams, do you tell yourself you are stupid or do you tell yourself you need to work harder? While discussing mindset, we suggested you talk back to yourself with a growth mindset voice. The common theme in all these techniques to cultivate dispositions is to build self-awareness. One way of understanding self-awareness is to think of it as the chatter that goes inside your head. You need to become aware of this chatter and influence it positively. As Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius put it, you have the power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. To set a goal that is meaningful to you, introspect on what gets you out of bed every morning. Not the alarm clock or your mother shouting or the day you have to go shopping, but what is the goal or pursuit that makes you jump out of the bed and get at it? Then there are these questions you can ask yourself for setting a goal larger than your self-interest. Like, what is it you are willing to do for free? Or, imagine that you have won $10 million, enough money to live a lifestyle of your choice, but your doctor tells you that you have only three years to live. In such a situation, what would you like to accomplish before you kick the bucket? Or you can try writing your obituary. How do you want to be remembered after you are dead? Working backwards from this, you can start setting meaningful goals that will take you towards your desired end game. You could also try writing the title of your autobiography today. And what would you like the title to be 5 or 10 or 20 years from now? This helps you introspect where you are and where you want to be and that in turn helps you to set goals to get where you want to be. Developing a deep sense of self-awareness about your physical body, about nourishment, exercise and rest and your psychological self your emotions, takes you towards the third layer, your energy, the thing that Yoda refers to as his mantra in the Star Wars movie, may the force be with you. The more you are aligned with your energy, easier you will find it to overcome your fears, fear of ridicule, fear of failure or low self-esteem and more inspired you will become to self-direct your learning in order to achieve your goals. Self-awareness is the prime ingredient for cultivating dispositions of a self-directed learner. And meaningful goals are the catalyst. As Aristotle put it, what lies in our power to do, it lies in our power not to do.